Now, you know I had to come on and have my reaction to a historic moment in When Calls the Heart Hardy's history. I'm James Lott Jr. If you don't know who I am, I do the When Calls the Heart after show. Um, uh, I've been doing it for the last eight years, basically, doing it. Um, and I and I went, you know, and I watched this morning the, on CBS Sunday morning, it's where it is. I watched the show anyway. I love the show anyway. Um, one of my favorite shows to watch. And then not even joking, it's one of my favorite shows to watch. They always do great segment pieces on people and stuff. When I heard they were doing it on not just the show, but the Hardys. Okay, so there's there's several things to do, several things we have to break down. One, thank you, CBS for recognizing the show. I don't know how. When they were like, and Aaron Craig has been playing for 10 seasons. Like 10, It's been 10 seasons, you guys. I love, two of my friends um, sent me a text going, wait, the show's been on 10 seasons? I'm like, yes, the show's been on doing its thing for 10 seasons. Shows don't get 10 seasons. They just don't. It's not, it's not, it's not common. And nowadays, especially, they barely get a season if they don't make anything. So that's a big accomplishment right there. So I, I'm glad to hear my friends who are watching this going, 10 seasons. My friends and family know who the Hardys are. They just they just know it from me talking about it or seeing it online. They've seen your presence. So this is a momentous, this is a really big occasion because to do a segment, I'm in TV, of course, you know, you know, business, to do a segment that's not just that's not just on the show. But it could have just, just interviewed all the actors and producers, it's just all about the show. This was about the fans. That is, this is not common. I, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm going to sound the alarm. This is not common. Um, and it's interesting because I've been here from the beginning. I just, I, I've seen the fan base from the beginning, grow from the beginning. And I know what the fan base can do. And um, seeing Chelsea, who I know, my fellow Boricua sister, um, seeing her talk about what the Hardys did for them. And I, if they had asked me, I could have told them, oh my God, it's a lot of things. They bought my books and they've, They've done events with me, and you know, and um, my brother died. You guys were there for me. You know, my dog died. You guys were there for me when I was going through all the stuff with my my parents last year. You guys were there. I guess it's like it's they they they. The segment was great. It's a great introduction for people because, it, but it just only touches the surface that we know. Just touches the surface of what a Hardy's friendship can do and what it can mean. And what this community collectively, when it's positive, <laughs> um, can really do for each other. And I think and so I but I thought it was a great piece. And it was funny. I so I didn't watch it on on CBS. Um, because it's not because I'm I'm three hours behind everybody. I wanted to watch it. So I knew they posted on CBS Sunday morning on YouTube. And so I went on there and watched it. Something else that was very interesting, folks. When you watch a video on YouTube, or I do, usually the little number that of you know, views it doesn't move while I'm watching it, especially a short piece. It was like a five, seven, ten minute piece. It means it usually just sits there, and then you watch it. Okay, you add your view to it. I'm telling you, not joking. Within that was seven minute piece or a piece, a long piece that was going. That counter was moving. Not by just one, two, three. It was moving in the tens and in the twenties while I was watching. I believe I was I try I sure have a number, but I believe when I was looking, I was like it went up over a hundred views in just the seven minutes I was watching it. Which again, I know how you guys are because when it comes to Hardy's content, you're very generous with my content and others. I know you guys show up. Um, so that's why I was like, let me share it on I shared it on X just now. Uh, I was like, I got to share because it's just like, people got to know this because this is our chance to really gain even more viewership in season 11, possibly a season 12. Like, I was, I may sound so excited because it's like, it, but it's because it really is a show that we've invested. I've invested in the show. I've invested in it. Well, uh, me and Marissa did it first and I'm still, con I'm still doing it. I invested in this show. I'm invested in the show. And Fuck the fact that we get we get Brian Bird that comes on every year, and we gotta get the actors, and we get the writers, and um, and I've gone to HFR. I mean, I mean, all these. Things, I just, I just, it's, it's. I know, I know how exciting and important it is, and how that this has always been not the norm when it comes to TV shows. Um, the accessibility 
uh, the availability of everybody involved. It's just that's not normal. It's just this is not a normal thing. I'm in part, I'm part of other fandoms that are they're good too, but this one I'm telling you, it's 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 very different in a wonderful way. So I just want to say I enjoyed it. Um, we saw Jeanette Oaks. So that was great to see her um, and talk to, what, about her books and stuff in the series. And Aaron did great. It was good. It was a great piece. And I'm thinking this is something that um, it's a nice, also little tiny time capsule uh, of the show's 10 year history, too. And in April, I'll be back, of course, doing recaps and stuff. But I, you know, I had to react and tell them, you know, because I'm, I'm a hardy for life. So, I mean, I'll shout it from the rooftops and, and well, you know, whatever. But it's, I just thought, you guys, I just want to make sure you guys understand this isn't normal. This is not, this is like not a, a normal thing. It goes to the fandoms. They usually don't do that. I'm James Lott Jr. I'll see you in a few months. I mean, literally in a few months um, when the show comes back and I'll be doing my weekly recaps. Talk to you next time.